I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Gri Organics. In this video, we will see how to write a review article and related informations. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel videos will be useful for agriculture education and research related videos. You can share our channel and this video with your friends so that they can also enhance their knowledge with related to agriculture and related aspects. First, before going deep into this review article, we should know what is meant by review article. Simple meaning of this review article is the summary of existing research and literature. So in a specific topic, already many research have been conducted and we have to collect all those research articles and the literature related to that and we are compiling it and we are publishing so that is the meaning of this research article or the research paper so next we can see that what is the difference between this review paper and the research paper so with related to this research paper for example if you are conducting a research on a particular topic for example we can consider the topic such as nanotechnology so nanotechnology is the wider technology used in all aspects of agriculture such as agronomy soil science plant pathology entomology microbiology biotechnology breeding physiology like that so this is one of the important topic you may conduct a research related to your specific discipline for example in agronomy someone may conduct research on polar application of this zinc nanoparticles on growth and yield of rice like that so that is one of the research they are conducting so they will conduct the research and finally they will publish that so that is known as this research paper but what is meant by review paper means so already the information that are published related to this nano zinc application in rice they will collect all those information and they will compile it and they will publish so that is the meaning for this review paper here they have given the maximum number of quotes for uh, review and uh, research paper that one you no need to consider it will vary depend on the journal that you are publishing but here what we discussed is the exact meaning of this review paper and research paper you have to identify the problem or the topic especially with related to agriculture there are many problems and you can focus on that particular problem or many emerging technologies so you can focus on that particular technology or the particular topic for example what i told earlier is nanotechnology another one is related to climate smart agriculture or related to organic farming or related to any other aspects such as new generation of pesticides or insecticides something related to that so uh, someone may write on crispr cas9 so like that something new topic you can choose and you can write so while identifying this topic it should be a new topic or it can be a new topic so if it's a new topic some many people may con conduct a research in upcoming days so your article will be cited more so that is one of the important thing so the primary aim of writing the review article is to get the more citation so if you are writing a good review article and you are publishing in a very good journal means then it will be read by many people can be cited in good publications and in good journals also so that your citation can be increased so that is the primary aim of this uh, review article writing so you have to identify the problem that are currently trending or with the advanced technology so like that you have to identify the problem or the topic then you have to start the article writing Next is you have to choose the audience. Who should be your audience? That one you have to consider. For example, that audience may be PG and PhD research scholars or the students or the policy makers or R&D or from any other aspect such as scientists or professors. They may work in foreign university. They may even work at TNIU or they may even work at Texas University so that they can be your audience. They can refer your article then they can cite your article so that is the important aspect for example if anyone from r d is reading your article so they can come to an understanding that the research has been already conducted in this aspect so what is the need for in further aspect like that they may consider and they can offer a project to someone if any policy maker is reading your article means they can able to come to a conclusion from your article and they can suggest some policies related to some other benefit of that some aspect for example it may relate to irrigation management so if you are writing on this drip irrigation or something means so you may in that article you may mention what is the area under drip irrigation in india or global so what is the water use efficiency of this drip irrigation as compared to flood irrigation so that by reading that policy maker can come to a conclusion so these are the advantages of this drip irrigation so instead of giving 80 percent subsidy we can give 100 percent subsidy so something they can come to a conclusion so your audience should be like this so they can be the scholars or the policy makers or r d and they have to cite your article also that is also important so that one you have to consider and another one thing is if you are publishing in a high rated journal means then your citation will be more because for citing your article if you are publishing though your review is good but if you are publishing in very low rated journal means as you are published in low rated journal 
some of the high rated journal they will not take your citation even though author has cited your article they will not they will tell that this is not published in a high rated journal so this cannot be considered like that so your audience should be chosen like that so you have to choose your audience first next is sir you have to choose the journal that is what i already explained for writing this uh, review article at least you can have any impact factor with the nas rating of above 6 so impact factor plus 6 is the nas rating so minimum of 5 nas rating is better or if you are publishing in above 6 means it will be best so that you can consider so journals such as printer elsewhere many journals are there and even indian journals are there but the rating pattern of all these journals will vary. So first you have to consider the journals. And another one thing is in every journal you can search. There may be some notification for this review article. So you can write a review article on that particular topic only. So that it will be published very easily. But if you are writing a review on a particular topic and then you are submitting to some journal means they may reject that. So that one you can consider. You can search from those journals and you can write the review article so that you can save your time. Next is where to search this uh, information related to your review article. So first thing what I will tell is book. For example, if you are writing an article related to weed management, so that how you know about weed management? Already you have read something UGPG or PhD. So that what is meant by weed management? What are the types of the weed management like that? So here you can read your books so that you can get some information. You can take some notes and from that you can collect the information from articles for example the type of weed management it includes cultural chemical mechanical biological like that so by reading that you will take some notes next by searching in google scholar what are the different mechanical methods of weed management like that so from book only you can separate or you can go to further step next one you can see your library so you can visit your library in your library there may be journals related to that but in many universities or many institutes Nowadays, they are following the latest uh, trend such as e-journals. That is also one of the advantage. So some of the online sources such as Nimbus will be useful. So in uh, our university, we are following this Nimbus so that they will give some ID password and we can use that. In many universities, one of the good connectivity that university library has provided is uh, this online sources that one you can consider. Another one is annual reports. For example, as I told already, you may write any review article related to pesticide or insecticide application. For example, we can consider related to BT cotton. So with related to area of um, India and the globe or in Asia or uh, in related to its production, what is the productivity, how it's um, reduced to the death of the farmer or something you can consider how it reduced to the pesticide application, so how it is better to or how it is less harmful to the environment by saving the pesticide. So that one they may publish in annual reports or agricultural statistics at a glance, especially related to area production productivity. So like that you can search any of these annual reports published by any ICER institutes or any other institutes, food and agriculture organization, whole health organization, next conservative groups of international agriculture research, ICRISAT. So like that you can consider all these annual reports and, and you can collect the information from that particular annual report and you can use in your review article for introduction or in any tables anything next is you can use this google scholar uh, this is the home page of this google scholar you can search in google scholar and you can search any topic related to that for example i will search weed management here i will search some topic out of um, agronomy for example i will search silly pasture you don't tell this is agronomy topic only but uh, this is slightly related to agronomy, but this is one, one of the forestry system. Here in the timeline, you can search according to the chronological order since 2023, since 2022, since 2019. For writing the review article, you can consider last five years data. So our last five years article, so that is one of the good information. You can also consider from uh, starting. So without mentioning the history, you cannot uh, consider you can collect the information from the recent article. That is one of the good thing. So here they have mentioned silly pressure, a yeah, sustainable livestock production system. So here the full article is available. I hope everyone may know how to cite this. Here you can able to see that. So it has been cited by 159 people because this is a review article. If they publish this as a research article, they may not have cut this much uh, publication. So that is another one thing. Here you can go for cite. If you click on this, here you can choose this APS style and uh, from this in some of the articles some of the information may be missed but you can uh, copy this and you can paste it in a separate page so that is another one thing i will tell you later so this is the google scholar how to use this uh, google scholar next we can see 
Uh, ResearchGate. So ResearchGate, uh, some of you may have account. So I am also having account in ResearchGate. This is the ResearchGate. So here you can search some of the articles related to that. If you are uh, recently I uploaded one video regarding how to open account in ResearchGate without uh, institutional mail ID. So that like that. So here you can get many information or many articles related to your research and uh, related to your review. So this research gate and Google scholars will be more useful to you. So these are the many sources and you can add some other sources also. Next is uh, how to search in Google scholar and in Google or in research gate. So you have to use this uh, keywords as I searched here for silly pressure. So you can use this uh, any keywords. For example, I told nanotechnology. So what are the information uh, you have to choose according to nanotechnology in agriculture. So, for example, if you are choosing specifically for nanotechnology for rice blast management. So, any research. So, here from any time, I can search. So, nanotechnology for rice fungal diseases. So, like that you can search and you can use it for your references. So, this is how to use. So, in research get also, you can use similar keywords. And even in the Google, normally you can search here. You, everything you should, what you are using in your review article should be from scientific side. So that one you have to consider. Otherwise, if you are writing your own story, means that the journals will not accept. Next is you have to organize the topics and title. Then you have to formulate the objectives of the research. For example, sorry, here for research spelling is wrong. So here, what you have to do is you have to organize the topics under the title. So here, uh, I will consider some of the review article. So this is uh, one of the review article published by, by, by my co-chairman. They have written article, Advances in Agronomic Management for Ensuring Border Security in Semi-Arid Zones of India. This is a review article. They have published this in 2018. So first you have to know what is meant by semi-arid zones. So here you can write about semi-arid zones. Then what is the need in India? Then what is the need for the food security? And what are the different agronomic management? So here they have organized topics. Here you can able to see that first it will be introduction. So uh, while writing this fodder, so why there is a need for the fodder security? Because due to the livestock. So here they may have written related to what is the percentage of livestock? What is the contribution of India for livestock? What is the total milk production? What is the meat production? Or uh, what is the egg production? So what is the need for that? So everything they have written. So what is the per animal productivity? So Next is uh, what is mean by green fodder and what is its um, scenario in the present and future. So everything will be there. So related to that, you have to arrange the topic. Here we can able to see that next, uh, what are the different management aspects? Here they have written grassland restoration and trees management. Next is uh, here we can, as I mentioned already, what is the supply and demand scenario of forage? So from 1995 to 2020, they have mentioned so what is the demand what is the supply so what will be the deficit in future recently the updated version also has been released so that one you can consider next is you can give some tables next you can give some figures related to that so here you can able to see that this they have created some figure based on the information that they have collected from some annual reports so that one you can consider then what are the management aspects so the, finally you can come to conclusion so that is one of the article Another one article written by the same author, by my chairman and co-chairman, here I will tell. So, water and nutrient use efficiency in agriculture and the role of cereals are reviewed. Here, what is the role of this water nutrient use efficiency? So, you may know what is meant by water use efficiency. That is yield divided by what is the total water used for that particular crop cultivation. And the nutrient use efficiency. So, how much the nutrient has been effectively utilized by the crop. So, that is. So, with the related to the cereals. So, how, why they have related to its cereals? Because we are applying the fertilizers more for cereals. So, for maize is a high fertilizer consumption crop. As compared to this, any other pulses, cereals we are applying more fertilizers and water. For rice, we are applying more fertilizer and more water. So, that is. So, in in this what they may have considered so they have written what is related to um, what is the role of this water and nutrient use efficiency in agriculture why we need to use it and why its role of cereals is more means so in rice we are applying more fertilizer the required water requirement for rice is three to four times more than millets or pulses like that so that one you have to give in your introduction next day here they have given some tables and then you can give some figures related to that so 
that you can collect data from different uh, countries also. For example, if you are writing a review related to India, so in India, that particular production is very less, but in other countries, it's more. So you can collect from different countries such as USA, UK, or the top countries such as China or Japan or some other countries, you can keep in one table. So like that you can do. Then you can give some figures. So based on the annual report details, you can give some figures, but if you are taking any figures from some review articles and or any research article but if you are taking any figures on the data from any articles directly means it may get in plagiarism so that one also you have to consider so here they have given cereals and their roles in water and nutrient use so they have mentioned only some cereals such as wheat rice and maize so then you can view a table like this so with regard to the treatment so someone may tell so if you are irrigating at 125 percent pan operation or 0.5 iwg by cp ratio the yield will be increased or decreased who is the person who told that time one that one you can give this as a reference if you go through any one or two article you will get an idea regarding this so that is how to organize a topic related to review article next here also i am having some other article so just i will show you later Next, we can see next. Then you have to formulate the objective. So this is not the objective of research. This is objective of the review. Why you are reviewing this? So that one you have to consider. In the last line of this um, introduction, in the last paragraph of your introduction, you have to write why you are making this review. So there is a deficit of this one. So in the future, this may increase that one. So that is the objective. So like that, something you have to mention related to the objectives in your review also. Next is the collection of articles and literature. So you have to collect more articles, especially related to your topic. For example, here I will show recently, not recently, before one year, we have written one review article related to water logging in pulses. For this only, um, we can divide the topic. So I got some management aspect related to uh, this water logging management in pulses. So here you, you can able to see in every topic, I have collected more articles. So it related to polar nutrition, Next is with related to microbes, land configuration. Next is seed treatment. So like that. So I have collected all these details and used most of these uh, articles in this um, article. So like that you have to collect. So here for my reference itself, I will show you how many pages we have written. Just this is one of my part that the entire article is different. It may come 30 page, 40 page like that. But here you can able to see this reference itself come 18 pages. So these many references we have used for that article. So just I am showing how many articles we have collected for writing this uh, review. So that's the information what I come to tell from here. You have to read or you have to collect the more articles and then you have to go through it for writing the review. Next, another one thing is if you are writing a review in a particular topic, already some review may be existing on that particular topic. So you have to collect that review and you can take the printout of that review and you can go through that so that you can get some idea about that review. Next is read the article completely. You have to read those articles completely. For example, if you are writing on a particular topic, so take the printout of that article and then you write it. So that's I have mentioned here, take printout. So you can take the printout of that and then you can read it completely. So here also in every my presentation or seminar, I will create one folder related to printout. So and I will take the printout of that particular thing and then I will prepare it. That is one of the good thing. So even for my other seminars also, I used to do prepare like that only. So it will be very better. So for taking the printout, we can collect the, all these article and finally we can take the printout. So all these article I have taken printout and I have gone through each and every link. So that is one of the good thing so that we can get some more knowledge about uh, our review and we can write. So next is highlight the important points while you are reading in your particular article by taking printout you can highlight that one and you can mark and you can if you get some any idea then you can write it separately in a note and you have to prepare the outline so how you are planning for your review so that one you have to consider next is um, what are the steps in review writing so first what you have to do is read the published work already some work has been published that what i told so you have to read that go through that completely then you have to interpret so what they are coming to tell for example you can read the abstract first if you are reading the abstract so you will get one idea you have to write that in a separate page 
instead of copying directly in a word document better you can write it in separate note or paper and then you have to get a synthesis of that so in that review article they made a different thing i will take this is also my co-chairman's article this is published in the nas rating of 16 uh, in the journal of science of the total environment so here we can able to see that from this this is the range grasses to improve the soil properties so here from this they have told some information how this uh, grasses the range grasses increases the fertility or the productivity of that barren land that one they have told was related to soil physical chemical and biological properties so they have given like this okay this may be the result so this one you have to write separately in a note or in a paper or you can highlight here itself from this you have to synthesis you should not copy this directly you have to write separately and you have to rewrite this one so that is yeah, one of the good trick to avoid the plagiarism so that one you have to keep in your mind next is uh, from that you have to synthesis a new sentence so that is what they are telling here synthesis so you have to interpret first you have to interpret this is the result then you have to synthesis this one okay next is you have to review finally you can write the review this review means writing the review article okay this is how what are the steps involving review writing next is write a good introduction of your with the justification of your review. So why you need this review? That one you have to consider. I already told if you're writing related to that fodder uh, deficit means. Uh, so this much fodder deficit is uh, pertaining in the country. So we have to increase this one. So we are, uh, what are the advanced management practices available? So we are writing article for this one or collecting the review for this one. So like that, for example, if you're writing related to nanotechnology means, uh, why nanotechnology is, um, emerging in the aspect of insect management. So you have to consider that one. Here, please, if you have any economics or extension students or any other department students are here, uh, I am not telling those department names because I am not getting any idea about this economics extension or any other social science aspect. So that's why I am not telling your department name. So you don't think that I am telling only this agronomy or soil science or pathology like that. So, so here, what is the role in um, pest management, disease management? So in upcoming days, in future, this is the emerging. So nowadays, this is the emerging topic. So I am collecting what are the existing literature available to them. Like that, you have to give justification to your review so that it will get, attract the editor or the reviewer of that article. Uh, this person has given a good article at the correct time. So we can publish from our journal. So like that, they should get an idea. Next is write in your own words. I already told how to write. So you have to collect all this and you have to write in your own words. You should not plagiarize or you should not copy it. Finally, you will be caught in the plagiarism. So for this plagiarism should be less than 10%. You should not exactly write this. You should rewrite this in your own words. For that, if you are taking any notes, so it will be useful to rewrite. Next is uh, link the sentences. So this is one of the important thing. So here in that article, how we have written, I will show you. Please don't copy this anywhere. Just I am showing you. So here, what are the agronomic strategies for management? Here is the exact linking. It increases infiltration, reduces runoff, and increases nutrient uptake by the plant. But this agronomic management practices, it has been given by these three persons. Okay. Then it contributes to the increased crop yield. This has been told by some other person. So just we are linking this one and this one. Uh, here there is a linking. So several reports are available to show the variation with the legume species to water logging response in lentil. So here who has respond, who has reported in lentil we have given. Next is field pea. So some person has reported in field pea. Next is grass pea. Some person has reported in field uh, grass pea. So that one it has been given. Next is chickpea. So all this together we have to link. So the reports from various others we are going to link here. So that is linking. So this is how the review article looks. But the review of literature is entirely different from that. So this review article is entirely linking of one to another. So that one you have to consider in your mind. So this is how to link the sentences. Next is due research and review gap. So what are the things existing already? What is the gap? If you conduct research in this aspect, so it will be good. So already these many literature are available, but there is a lack of this one. So you have to mention in this so that some people will cite. So if, for example, if any person I will consider, Mani Bharati. So he is my junior and student. So Mani Bharati has reported that there is a research lag for that particular topic in weed management. So some other person, those who are reporting or those who are reviewing in that article, they will tell Manibardi has reported 
this one so i am conducting this research so they will write like that so that one you have to consider here next is give the history of the research the history of the research means that how many who has conducted that one for example yesterday i got this article this article was very good so in that they have written about the management of cassava mosaic virus so i will just i will open this plant pathology article it has been published in plant molecular biology so they have given with related to uh, molecular aspect first instead of going deep into this cassava mosaic disease they have given what is meant by cassava why the cassava cultivation is important so it will be cultivated in the country such as africa or in some other part of the world so what is its area production productivity then what are the problems of this cassava farmers so the problems may be such as plant pest management disease management or nutrient management so it is cultivated in the dry land area it is cultivated both under irrigated and dry land area how this uh, cassava cultivation is affected by various aspects so everything they have mentioned so in this you have to give the area production productivity of this cassava not only cassava you can give what is the how the yield is affected due to this cassava mosaic so what is the percentage reduction in the yield due to diseases in cassava and then what is the percentage of uh, yield reduction due to this cassava mosaic virus so everything you have to give so like that your uh, introduction should go in your flow so first you have to consider what is that core topic if you are writing any article related to drone means so what is meant by drone who invented the drone when it started um, since 1910 or 1920s so how earlier they used to the drone but today how you are using the drone so everything you have to give that in a sequence so that one you can consider so that's what i come to tell so you have to give this area production productivity from this annual reports how the disease is affecting that particular crop what is the total loss both at the global level and at the indian level so everything you have to consider that one next they have given how it is transmitted so that disease is transmitted by it is transmitted by the vector vermicide abasi so next is what are the different management aspects so the different management aspects will be such as physical method chemical method cultural method agronomical method or biotechnological method microbial method so this molecular breeding is there so everything it's there so like that you have to go on linking so here also you can able to see that linking is here so like that you should go on linking the one sentence with the another sentence so it should follow some sequence give the management so if you are writing anything related to this means then last you can come to management so in that article itself i told so first is related to that cassava introduction next is how it's transmitted so what is the history what is its gene it's a single stranded or a double stranded anything so who has given that so everything you can give finally you can come for the management next is give the tables and figures based on the available research so that what i told already here in this article only i have given so based on the already existing review or existing article you can give like that so here irrigation at 125% pan evaporation it uh, gives this grain yield so who has reported vanitan mohandas so like that sri system of rice intensification method gave grain yield of 155 tons per hectare nay ketal 2015 report so you can give this uh, four columns and you can write so you can follow this four columns only because in most of the research whatever it may be so they may have followed like this only so you can consider tables like this this article is related to this climate smart agriculture csa means so how it's uh, in different uh, countries they have given in different tables so here in which country they have reported next to which part for example in maharashtra in maharashtra what is the difficulty so what are the what are the adoption measure for this climate smart agriculture so like that you can give some tables and also you can give some figures also that i have already told and you can follow some graphical abstract also so you can give all this based on the available research next is try to prepare graphical abstract and related graphics so you can follow, prepare some graphics here i can tell so this is the graphical abstract okay this may be followed by this using this inkscape so this is the inkscape so this will be very useful to you for preparing all these graphical abstracts next is um, here you can give some graphs or tables or you can use those graphs and tables from the existing literature also but it should not be plagiarized that one you have to consider so like that you can give give the future prospectus so if you are following this what will be your future if you are following adopting um, this particular nanotechnology yield can be increased to this much already india is providing um, this much uh, product producing this many tons of food production 330 million tons of food production since when i started uh, bs agriculture during that time it was 265 million tons now it's around 
three thirty million tonnes. So there is increase in production of India. So further, if we adopt this particular technology, I am not telling about nano technology. Any technology maybe. So it will increase the yield like this. Very well versed with the food security. So like that something you can tell in your future prospectus. So that such some other people also can tell or can cite your article. And as I told uh, with the example of Manipuradi. you can give that there is a research gap so in future you can conduct research on that so something you can tell like that next is put references in a separate file here we have used to the article that we have written but this references we have cited here so now i will tell how to cite references so already we have taken so i told if you click on this site in google scholar that citation will come so here we are taking mostly we will take apa style so here you should copy and you can paste here just you can go on pasting like this only here may be some gap may be there or something may be missed so this may be missed or something it may be missed but at the last time at the last while giving submitting the article according to the journal format you change this reference during that time what are the things to be added or deleted because in some articles or sir because in some journals they will accept this and but in some article you have to write a and d here that the comma full stop everything it may vary some places you have to write this in italics some place it, in some articles you have to write in bold so according to those journals you can alter it later now you no need to worry i hope everyone may know how to do this just for reference you can select all and you can click on uh, this here to set it will arrange as per the alphabet order okay next is uh, how to give this indent means uh, sorry how to give this reference format means uh, just you go to this paragraph right click go to this paragraph and here you come you click on this special you have to click on this hanging so if you click on this hanging then you click okay it will be like this it will be like hanging so everything you have to consider and we have not formatted this reference so this reference is in different format for each and every reference but finally while submitting the article you have to format it as per your journal so that one you have to keep in your mind next is finally conclusion so from the reference what you have written finally you have to conclude that one so here we can go to some article discuss on masika virus only so here uh, they have given some conclusion and future perspective future perspective and conclusion so you can read that one so what technology can be implemented what are the different methods breeding strategy or uh, some other molecular breeding strategy something like that uh, even with related to this agronomic aspect also you can come to some conclusion based on that so adopting which method of uh, agronomy method or uh, which uh, iwbcp method or uh, which is best so like that you can come to some conclusion next is uh, another thing after writing all your article is you have to take the print out of that uh, review that what you have written and you have to go through that many times then you have to correct line by line which is correct we can alter center sentence or not everything and then you have to correct it properly then uh, some plagiarism uh, software such as dupli hacker is there so like that you can copy 100 sorry 1000 1000 words and you can check your plagiarism that is another one thing next is some of the advantages of review article so as i told already you will get more citation so that is one of the big advantage your article will reach many people many persons so that is also another one advantage for example here itself i will show you can able to see articles related to that here this is uh, his total his citation is more than 200 but uh, this is the review article it got more citation 17 citation so like that which are the review article it will get more citation not only this as i told already so this is one of the advantage and you can give way to the future so that uh, some people may write your research so what you have given in your review article so they will conduct that one as a research so there may be the research gap this person has suggested that so like that so there will be some complete compilation of information per, to the particular topic so for example and some disease management in rice so what are the information related to that carbon dosing who has reported from india or from tamil nadu or from tniu or from texas university or from acres university or from irri so who are all i have mentioned that one so you can consider um, you can compile that so that there will be that complete compiled information related to that particular topic okay next is uh, so this is the last slide so that's uh, uh, some information about this review article so here 
I told uh, how to write this review article. So first you have to give some good introduction. So from the introduction itself, the particular editor or the reviewer should uh, know why this uh, article is essential and you have to give all the subtopics. So it should be written in your own words. You don't go to chat GPT or uh, chat GDP. I don't know the proper name and you don't uh, use the tone okay, for writing any article or uh, review. Just you write from your own words only. So you don't uh, go for any artificial intelligence related to that because this artificial intelligence will be easily detected by those uh, persons uh, or the reviewers or the editors. So they will withdraw you. So that's another one thing. Just after writing this review article, you correct it from your any experienced persons or chairman or any other scientist from that related discipline, then you can submit it in good journals so you can submit if you are writing a good article then you can submit in a good journal here itself i will show you you will see this review article is entirely in different format okay this is from international journal of current microbiology and applied sciences okay this is from journal of farm science published by us Road and right so this is uh, Karnataka journal of agricultural sciences so this format is entirely different this is published by sprincher okay this format is entirely different Next is MDP. So where is that? So this format is entirely different. So the entire format will be entirely different. So that one you have to consider. So after compiling all this information, you have to change according to the journal format. Okay. Next is this back reference. In some videos, I told about uh, taking back the references. So for example, in this article, you are reading something. So you can get that particular article. So just what you have to do, you have to copy this one or you can go to the craft reference also but simply i'm telling successful adaptation to climate change across scales just you can copy that and you can search in google so that particular article will come okay over those on 182 citations okay so this is the strength of this review articles okay so we can get more citations so some people especially you and me we cannot expect this many citations in our all our article in our entire future but this review article provides a citation to this many because it has been published in a very good um, place such as uh, science direct or elsewhere so that is okay global environment climate change so this rating will be more so like that you have to choose the articles and you have to choose the journals and you have to do then uh, while writing the article just you have to select the control a and you have to go to this uh, page layout then you have to set that for your four size. So that is another one thing. Uh, don't type in uh, legal format or letter or something. You type always type in this A4 sheet. Next uh, margins you can change at later. Uh, this is some information related to this review article. As many of our subscribers requested, just I have given this video. If you are uh, having any doubt or any more doubt related to this, you can give in your comment. I hope this video will be useful to you. You can share this video to your friends also. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Thank you.